In this session, we will give a proof of the orbit stabilizer theorem. A generalization of this theorem can be found in the books Abstract Algebra by David S. Dummett and Richard M. Foote and A First Course in Abstract Algebra by John B. Fraley. If S is a set and G is a subgroup of the group of permutations of set S, then we say that G is a group of permutations on S. Let us define the stabilizer of an element S in the set S. The stabilizer of an element S is the set of all those permutations in the group G such that phi of S is S itself, that is, such that phi fixes S. Now, let us prove that the stabilizer of S is a subgroup of G. To prove this, we first need to show that the identity element in G is in the stabilizer of S. What is the identity element in G? The identity element in G, say i, is the bijection from S to S that takes every element to itself. And hence, in particular, the identity element takes S to itself, which means that the identity element is in the stabilizer of S. Second, we need to show that the stabilizer of S is closed under the group operation. That is, if we take two elements, phi1 and phi2 in the stabilizer of S, then we need to prove that phi1 composition phi2 is again in the stabilizer of S. Notice that phi1 composition phi2 of S is equal to phi1 of phi2 of S. But phi2 of S is S itself as phi2 is in the stabilizer of S. Therefore, we have phi1 of S. Again, as phi1 is in the stabilizer of S, we have phi1 of S equals S. Therefore, we have shown that phi1 composition with phi2 is in the stabilizer of S. We need to show that the stabilizer of S is closed under taking inverses. Let us start with an element phi in the stabilizer of S. What does this tell us? This tells us that phi of S is equal to S itself. Now, composing by phi inverse, we get phi inverse of phi of s is equal to phi inverse of s. And we know that phi inverse of phi of s is s itself, which gives us phi inverse of s is equal to s. And hence, phi inverse is in the stabilizer of S. This proves that the stabilizer of S is a subgroup of G. Let us consider the relation defined on the set S by 
A is related to B if there is some permutation phi in G such that A is equal to phi of B. We will show that this relation is an equivalence relation. To prove that this is an equivalence relation, we first need to show that the relation is reflexive. Let us start with an element A inside S. Notice that the identity element of G takes A to its S self, which means that A is related to A and hence tilde is a reflexive relation. We now prove that the relation is symmetric. That is, if A is related to B, we need to show that B is related to A. Since A is related to B, we know that there is some permutation phi in G such that a is equal to phi of B. This means that phi inverse of A is equal to phi inverse of phi of B, which is equal to B itself and therefore B is equal to phi inverse of A which means that B is related to A. Now we need to show that the relation is transitive. Let us assume that we have three elements A, B and C in S such that A is related to B and B is related to C. This means that we have two permutations in G, phi1 and phi2, such that A is equal to phi1 of B and B is equal to phi 2 of C. This means that A is equal to phi 1 of phi 2 of C which is phi 1 composition phi 2 of C. And therefore as Phi 1 composition phi 2 is an element of G, A is related to C. This proves that the relation is an equivalence relation. Now, an obvious question to ask is what are the equivalence classes of this relation? Let us look at the equivalence class of the element S, that is, the set of all the points B in S such that S is related to B or using symmetry of the relation, the set of all the points B in S such that B is related to S. Now, when is B related to S? B is related to S if B is equal to some phi of S for phi in G. We call this set as the orbit of S. 
Let us now prove the orbit stabilizer theorem. The orbit stabilizer theorem states that if G is a finite group of permutations on the set S, and if S is an element of S, then the number of elements in G is the number of elements in the orbit of S into the number of elements in the stabilizer of S. Notice that the stabilizer of S is a subgroup of G and hence we can talk about the set containing all left cosets of the stabilizer of S in G. This set is denoted by G by stabilizer of S. We will define a function f from g by stabilizer of s to the orbit of s by the natural way f of notice that the elements of g are functions so f of phi times the stabilizer of S equals phi of S. This is the most natural way of defining this function. We will have to prove a few things. Firstly, we need to show that this function is well defined. And next, we need to show that it is a bijection. Proving this, proving that this is a bijection will establish the fact that the number of elements in G by stabilizer of S is equal to the number of elements in the orbit of S, which then gives us the orbit stabilizer theorem. First, let us prove that F is well defined. Why do we need to establish the fact that F is well defined? We need to establish the fact that F is well defined as we are talking about cosets which have different possible representations. So suppose we have phi1 of phi1 times the stabilizer of S equals phi 2 times the stabilizer of S. This will mean that phi 1 inverse composition phi 2 belongs to the stabilizer of S which means that by definition of stabilizer phi 1 inverse of phi 2 of S is equal to S itself, which means that phi 1 inverse of phi 2 of S is equal to S. Now, composing on both sides by phi 1, we get phi 1 of s is equal to phi 2 of s which means that f is a well defined function now we show that f is a bijection to show that f is a bijection 
we need to show that f is 1 1 and on 2. Suppose f of phi 1 times the stabilizer of s is equal to f of phi 2 times the stabilizer of s. This will mean that by definition of f, phi 1 of s is equal to phi 2 of s, which means that by multiplying by phi 1 inverse on both sides, we get phi 1 inverse composition with phi 2 of s is equal to s itself, which tells us that phi 1 inverse composition phi 2 is in the stabilizer of S. And hence, the two cosets phi 1 times stabilizer of S is equal to phi 2 times the stabilizer of S. And therefore, f is a 1 1 function. Next, we will prove that f is an onto function. To prove that f is an onto function, we start with an element in the orbit of s, say phi of s. Now, it is easy to see the pre-image of this, that is, f of phi times the stabilizer of s which is phi of s and therefore f is an onto function. This proves the orbit stabilizer theorem as f is bijective. We see that the number of elements in G by stabilizer of S is the same as the number of elements in the orbit of S. But we know that the number of elements in G by stabilizer of S is the number of elements in G upon the number of elements in the stabilizer of S. Now, multiplying throughout by the stabilizer of S, we get the orbit stabilizer theorem. 